Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back with another edition of the Versus series. So today we're gonna to be comparing the Shure SM57, SM58, and SM7B to see which one is the best, and I'm sure the outcome will be surely shocking. Oh God. I'm so sorry. Now for the test, I connected the mic to the 2i2 second gen. I will not do any post-processing, but I will likely boost the levels in post so you can check the doobly-doo to see what I set the gain at and how much I boosted them. But first, let's go ahead and briefly talk about the build quality of these things. Both the SM57 and SM58 are handheld style microphones with all metal bodies and a very similar weight. The SM58 does have a metal ball windscreen on the end, while the SM57 has no wind protection at all and it has a plastic casing around the sides of the capsule. The SM7B is more of a studio style microphone with an all metal construction and an exterior windscreen. It has the mount already installed and it also has a high pass and presence boost switch available on the rear, which we will not be using. Now let's jump right into the tests. Right now I'm speaking into the Shure SM57, which will set you back about $100. It has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 40 hertz to 15 kilohertz, a sensitivity of around negative 56 decibels, and an impedance of 310 ohms. Now I'm speaking into the Shure SM58. This thing will also set you back about $100. It has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz, a sensitivity of around negative 54 and a half decibels and an impedance of 300 ohms. And now I'm speaking into the Shure SM7B, which will set you back around $400. This thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a sensitivity of around negative 59 decibels, and an impedance of 150 ohms. Zero degrees on the SM57, moving around to 90 degrees. We'll move around to 180 degrees, and then we will continue around to 90, back around to zero degrees. Zero degrees on the SM58, moving around to 90 degrees. We'll continue back around to 180 degrees, continue spinning it around to 90 degrees, and then we'll continue and end back on the front. Zero degrees on the SM7B, moving around to 90 degrees. We'll go ahead and move around to 180 degrees to show you the rear. We'll continue back around to 90 degrees and then continue back around to the front. Now I'm testing the background noise rejection of the SM57 by typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues. Now I'm testing the background noise of the SM58. Now I'm testing the Cherry MX Blues with the SM7B. Now I'm right on top of the SM57 to show you what you can do with the proximity effect on this thing. Now I'm right on top of the SM58 to show you the proximity effect on this thing. I'm right on top of the SM7B to show you what you can do with the proximity effect on this thing. Two feet away from the SM57. Two feet away from the SM58. Two feet away from the SM7B. <laughs> these mics do you like? I know which one I'd personally call mine. What will you pick? I surely do not know. So will you please tell me in the comments down below? And the winner of this Versus series is the SM7B, which I will of course explain in a second, but I do want to go ahead and point out that I think every single one of these microphones excels at something. The SM57 just sounded awesome on the instruments because it has a little bit of extra treble, which just adds life to the sound. The SM58 works amazingly for live vocals because first up, 
it's built like a tank. I just dent in my desk. Additionally, it has a presence boost to help your vocals cut through a mix, but it's not overly boosted in the treble range, so it doesn't sound harsh. And then the SM7B just sounds awesome on spoken word and singing because it has a flatter mid and treble frequency range, yielding a warmer sound that's just easy to listen to. And the last thing I'll say about all these microphones is that these are all insanely versatile microphones. If you buy any of them, you're going to find about a million and a half uses for them in your studio. So I just wanted to point out that I don't think you could really go wrong by picking up any of these. But since I had to pick one, I went with the SM7B. And the main reason I went with the SM7B is because it does have that flatter frequency response, which I personally prefer. Now on the screen here, I highlighted the area of the frequency range where I think the SM7B really excels. You can see that without any of the presence boosts or cuts enabled, it is a much more neutral tone, which to my ears is just much more pleasing and much more easy to listen to. Additionally, if you do want to go ahead and get a little bit more presence, this does have a presence boost switch on it, which I have just enabled and you can go ahead and get that but I prefer it to be in the flat mode now one huge downside to the SM7B is the sensitivity or the output its output is around negative 59 decibels compared to negative 56 and negative 54 and a half so if you're picking this guy up you will need one heck of a preamp or interface for instance on the 2i2 I think my gain is set at around 4 o'clock or 3.30. And even though the 2i2 is a really good interface, in my opinion, it's on the verge of being too noisy when you're driving it this hard. So just keep that in mind if you go with the SM7B. You're going to need a really powerful preamp. And there you have it. That is going to do it. Going to drum with the microphones on my desk because they can do that. And you know what? I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Down I probably shouldn't do that, even though they are built like tanks. I want to hear from you in the comments down below. Which one do you like the best? Do you think the SM7B is the best? Do you think it's worth the extra $300? I personally do. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys down below. And if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Hated it, thumbs down. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, what microphones you want to see me compare in future versions versus series. If you want more videos like this, subscribe by clicking the logo beneath me. Check out the Discord server by clicking the link in the description. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.